but he's only slightly better at mowing lawns than James. See, the difference, Mark is always better than James, but I guess to really butcher grammar, he is more better at car washing than lawn mowing. Okay. And now we're going to get into opportunity cost which is what's given up when a choice is made. It's the highest valued alternative foregone. So basically individuals have to consider the value of what's given up when they're making a choice. So Mark may be better at lawn mowing, hence it takes him more time to do it. That's just a generalization. However, if him and James want to get the chores done as quickly as possible, he's going to sacrifice his favorite chore, which is lawn mowing, to wash cars in order to get it done faster. Um, another example of this would be my job in our apartment is to clean the shower. And I asked my brother to buy sh shower cleaner spray. He didn't want to do it, but then I said, okay, well, you can scrub the shower. So he said, oh, no, I'll buy the spray. So that value, $3 to him, the value added, or the opportunity cost, so spending $3 to buy the spray rather than cleaning the shower was worth it because the value added was not having to scrub the shower. You guys get that? Anyone confused? All right. And now we're going to talk about an example right here where we all live, which is Virginia. Now, in comparison with the Midwest, Virginia doesn't produce a lot of grain. There are a lot of things that we do, um, but producing a lot of food isn't necessarily one of them. So in your tables, uh, at your tables, think a little bit and discuss what, why do grain producing states hold a comparative advantage over the state of Virginia and what might that advantage be? Try to think of a reason for why Virginia is not the one producing food for the entire country.